The Earth has fallen into the Phantom Zone and the heroes are dropping like flies. It's up to Superman to save the day and also overcome Rogel Czar. What'll happen next? Well, let's hop into Superman issue number three and find out. Alrighty then, so as we join the comic, who likes callbacks to Superman the Animated Series? I sure do. Livewire is using the chaos on Earth currently to try and rob Star Labs. I've always loved this character and I'm super happy to see them back in the context of a Superman book. I just wish they weren't saddled with such very awkward dialogue. I legitimately can't tell if this is Bendis trying to write something that sounds like Lori Petty is saying it or if it's just Bendis writing in normal Bendis speak. Superman comes to the same Star Labs building because he believes whatever it is that caused the planet Earth to fall into the Phantom Zone, it originated right here. Superman asks this oh-so-important question, but do you think he actually gets an answer to it? No, 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 he does not. Now, at the other end of the Phantom Zone, Rogel Czar has set up shop looking for volunteers for his brand new army to go take down Superman. First up is Jack Zur. Hey look, another Superman the Animated Series call out. Now as we discover, Ur has been in the Phantom Zone for a very long time after blowing up one of Krypton's moons and because of that he actually has no idea who Rogel Zar is. Zar, interestingly enough though, knows a lot about him. In fact, he says if it were not for the actions of General Zod, Jax Ur would have been Krypton's most famous criminal. Ah yes, yeah, so famous that he is only sporadically mentioned. Jax Ur and his his gang of criminal aliens end up trying to jump Rogel Zar, but they all get their asses kicked. He doesn't kill them because, again, Zar is looking for warm bodies to join his army. Now, why exactly is he willing to align himself with a Kryptonian when we've established that Zar hates all Kryptonians and sees them as a cancer on the universe? It, your guess is as good as mine. Now, back with the rest of the heroes, things are getting rough. People are looting, chaos is gripping the planet, and worse still, all the heroes who aren't Superman are getting sick. You know what? I might have a lot of problems with Bendis' Superman. Superman run, but this image right here of Batman slumped over a dirty toilet with vomit crusting his mouth? It's, it's something real special. I hope this becomes a meme if it's not a meme already by the time I upload this. Why is everyone getting so messed up? Well, Aquaman theorizes it might be because the atmosphere has changed, and that's because, get this, the planet Earth hasn't just fallen into the Phantom Zone, it's completely gone from where it normally is in the universe. Which we further illustrate by showing poor Canadian Adam Strange from Rand coming to help out Earth only to realize that there's no Earth there anymore. This also begs the question if the Earth is away from where it normally should be and in the Phantom Zone for that matter, shouldn't Superman not be getting power from Earth's yellow sun? Oh wait, what's uh, what's that I'm hearing? Shut up, Joel? Okay. With no answers and all other options exhausted, Superman goes to the Atoms as well as Mr. Terrific, three of the most learned men in the DC Universe, to see if they have any answers about what's happened to Earth. Long story short, they do not. They do not have any answers. But that's okay, because we don't need no smarty pants, talky word thinks, because we got a big alien fight coming. Rogel Zar's bringing his whole army to Earth, and it's gonna be a big Titanic smackdown. And so that was Superman issue number three, everybody, and overall, it was adequate. It was a superhero story that I read. Were there a metric ton of inconsistencies? Oh, you betcha. Does it feel like Bendis is more interested in writing everyone else in the DC Universe but Superman in this story? At times, Yes. Did I enjoy all the shoutouts to Superman the Animated Series even though they ultimately didn't amount to very much at the very end? Also yes. Would I give this comic a 6 out of 10 and sincerely hope that the finale is a lot more exciting than the build-up has been? Yes. Hey there everyone, it's your old pal Cape Joel again. I want to thank you so much for watching to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, why not check out some of these other videos I have on offer? Then you can follow me on Twitter and Facebook, at Cape Joel, so you're always up to speed on what I'm doing next. And hey, did you know I have a Twitch and gaming page now? That's right, I do. If you head on down in the description, you'll find a link to the Joel Daily channel, where I re-upload my streams, as well as the Cape Joel official Twitch channel, where occasionally I do live stuff. If you're around, I would love it if you watched. I'm sure you'll have a good time. So until then, everyone, this has been Cape Joel, and I will be back again with more great comic content that smacks of greatness. Bye-bye.